Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my talk is about uh, how to write Ruby interpreter. So the title is uh, write a Ruby interpreter in Ruby for Ruby 3. But uh, the, uh, so honestly speaking, the, the, it means uh, Ruby and C language. This talk is about a uh, new proposal to write a built-in method uh, definition in uh, Ruby with C language. So as you know, MRI, the Ruby command, is uh, uh, written in C language. And uh, also, uh, some exten uh, extension library is written in C. So this proposal is to add new uh, framework to write uh, such a uh, built-in libraries and uh, extension libraries in Ruby with C. This talk is not about uh, uh, how to write a garbage collection or virtual machine or something uh, low-level features in Ruby. So if you have interest to write an uh, interpreter in, in Ruby, uh, Endo-san's book, Ruby, the school Ruby, is recommended. Uh, I, I recommend to read. So today's talk is about, uh, so the, uh, today I want to show the some current uh, problems why, why I do that and uh, propose uh, my solution, lighting building method in Ruby with C. And uh, I introduced uh, two uh, performance hacks for, to achieve this proposal. So long time performance hack and uh, startup time uh, hack. I'm uh, Koichi Sasada. Uh, I, uh, I'm a uh, Ruby, com uh, Ruby committer. Uh, maybe mm, ten, more than ten, uh, 15 years. 15? No. Anyway, uh, my, uh, I'm a uh, member of Cookpot. So there is a Cookpot uh, booth, and we pr uh, provide a daily uh, Ruby puzzle. So please enjoy our puzzle. So please, sound, uh, please go to the, my, our uh, Cookpot booth. So let's talk about uh, my pr presentation. Uh, at, uh, at first, I want to sh show you our background. So Ruby, M uh, MRI means a uh, Mats Ruby interpreter. MRI is written in C. So many C programmers are joining to develop the MRI. And most of the built-in methods, such as uh, a string, blah, 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 or array, blah, 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 or something like that, are defined by C, implemented by C. And a few methods in between Ruby, but uh, most of the case, we don't use this feature. So the, this is uh, uh, the how to write a uh, uh, built-in method, built-in class in C language. So in the uh, function, C function in its string, it has uh, two parts. So this line defines the class. So RB define class function define uh, creates a new class. And uh, we can, uh, we call these RB define method uh, for two, uh, two, two define methods, each method. So in this example, uh, for example, uh, e string equal equal, uh, is uh, com combined with uh, the, this function, and the RIT, the parameter name, parameter number is, will be one. So it is very easy to read for C programmer, I think. And the, for example, the string length is de also defined by this line, and the, the string body, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the method body is here, the RV string length. And the, uh, if the string length method is called, then the, this function are called each time. So this page shows how many classes or how many methods are defined at uh, method uh, at startup time. So every time, so if you learn the, the Ruby. Uh, if you run uh, in, in the, the 
uh, Ruby binary, then you, you, uh, your Ruby process defines uh, about 500 classes and about 2,000 uh, methods are defined in, uh, in the startup time. There is a uh, so there is a several uh, there are several problems with these techniques. So I summarize in four categories. I want to show why it is there, uh, uh, why it is a, a problem. So the problem one is annotation. So last uh, previous Kukubun sounds talk shows that uh, Ruby has uh, Ruby lacks several. Uh, Building methods, we cannot understand the behavior. So, uh, for example, uh, do you know the method parameters method? So it shows it returns the method name. So, for example, if we, uh, so, there, if we define the hello method with the parameter message, then we can uh, we can check the parameter uh, parameter name with the, the parameter the method. So this method call returns uh, this uh, nested array, array, and uh, we can understand the, the first parameter name is M msg message. But uh, if we apply this parameters method, the, there are uh, no parameter names for the C method. So this is because uh, the C method doesn't have uh, such a parameter name information. Also, backtrace information is not available for C method. For example, stack proof is a, a well, uh, well, uh, well known uh, performance profiler, but they, uh, this tool that can't show the C method profiling score because it's, uh, C method doesn't have a backtrace information for that. And uh, so this is for the uh, performance. So as Kokubun uh, Sans talk, so we didn't, we need to know the the what the what how to write uh, how the C method behavior. So if we, we want we need to uh, know the behavior of C methods, then we need to analyze the C code. So if we make a C compiler. It is, uh, uh, we can do that, but it is not feasible. We cannot make a C compiler, and we cannot maintain the C compiler. So we, know, we want to know the, for example, uh, the, have this method do some side, has some side effect or something like that. It's very important information. So if the, we know the, uh, this method is pure, or this method is, has no side effect, we can optimize more and more. For example, so this is very uh, frequently used uh, example. So if we call the G sub with the string literals, then the current Ruby creates the uh, two string object each time. So if it, this line is in the inner loop, then create uh, many, many uh, strings. But uh, we know G sub doesn't, doesn't modify the, the past uh, parameters, so, so, if, so, we can, so theoretically, we can make, we, we don't need to generate new strings each time. So frozen string literal programmer, uh, we can write uh, on the top of uh, Ruby script, but uh, and the, we can specify these uh, all of uh, string literals should be free frozen, uh, frozen uh, singleton string object. But we, I want at least I want I don't want to write uh, such a uh, frozen string literal program. So uh, if we know the behavior of G sub or some other methods, so we can. Uh, optimize more and more. Kokubun san do that. And uh, we know, uh, uh, and also the another uh, metadata is uh, the size of the methods. So we cannot know the how many methods or how many classes are 
uh, defined uh, uh, before the runtime learning learning the process. So if we know in this, this information in advance, we can pre-allocate the table or something like that, yes, and we can improve the startup time. Now we need to grow the method term table on demand, so we need uh, we need to allocate more and more uh, memory and consume the time. And the next one is the performance. So no fact is uh, C is faster than Ruby. Uh, nobody nobody uh, feel doubt on this fact, but sometimes it is false. For example, keyword parameter and exception handling is faster than C code. So, for example, uh, this so check the this Ruby code. It is very uh, easy to understand the uh, keyword parameter code. So, getting the two keywords, keywords and call the another uh, function, uh, another method. So, we need to write uh, so to to do the same thing. So, in C, we need to to write these lines. It is very complex, but, but we. We can write, but it is very complex. And the performance is also was uh, also bad. So em for empty, uh, empty, uh, empty means uh, if we do not pass the, the parameters, uh, keyword parameters, it is, it's the C is faster. So blue line is uh, the C implementation and orange line is uh, 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 Ruby, method, Ruby implementation. So the big, bigger is uh, uh, higher is better. So fi higher is fi uh, faster, and the C method is faster than uh, Ruby method because the calling overhead of uh, C function is very cheaper than the Ruby method invocation. But if we pass the keyword parameter, then the uh, the C function is very very slow. Uh, C implementation is very very slow, so Ruby is very Ruby implementation is very faster because Ruby implementation has several optimization. We don't need to create the hash object for to pass the keyword parameters. So in other words, we need to create a uh, hash object each time for to pass the keyword parameter to the C method. Another example is exception handling in C. So we need to write, uh, uh, so uh, if we want to do the, the same thing, same very simple uh, exception handling code in C, we need to write, we need to write uh, these code. And the, uh, also the C implementation is slow, slower than Ruby. So this is because virtual machine exception handling is, very, is faster than the C, C uh, uh, handling, C, C is exception handling. And productivity, so as you, no, as you see, the, the C code is very long than the Ruby code. So making very simple, simple method such as the string length in C is very, very easy to understand and uh, un, uh, reasonable, I think. So this code is very, very uh, Understandable. It, it is easy to understand and it is easy to write. However, the, it is difficult to uh, make a method using complex features like uh, uh, this example and this example. So, so sometimes C implementation is easy, yeah, yeah, reasonable, easy, but uh, some, sometimes it is very difficult to write in C. So. Sometimes uh, writing in Ruby is reasonable because uh, if it is not frequently used, non performance required features, well, uh, if it should be, uh, uh, if it is a prototype uh, example, then it is easy to write in, C, in Ruby uh, compared with C language. And the last uh, problem is we need to change the uh, AP, C API. So CPA needs an update to accept the context to achieve the guild or some other concurrent uh, me mechanism. So for example, 
uh, MRuby. MRuby is another MatsRuby interpreter. Matsmosan's uh, new interpreter accepts all accepts all C API accepts the, the this MRuby state uh, pointer to access the, the current context. But the Ruby uh, C Ruby MRI doesn't accept any such uh, pointer. So getting the uh, Getting this kind of uh, context object, context data information is context information is necessary to achieve the, the concurrent pro, uh, con concurrent in, in, uh, in interpreter. So we need to update. So we can get the uh, context pointer from the thread local storage uh, system, operating system, or something like that. Suppose, but. So using this technique, we can keep the current API, but it is hard to uh, it is hard to bring the new specification with that. Uh, so it means that uh, so we if we use the thread local storage, uh, we we do not need to change the API, but it is it it will be slow. So we measure the in another. Uh, research, it, so significant slowdown we can observe with this technique. So we need to do uh, another tech, another way to get the context of. Uh, so this is the API change is uh, the one approach. So I I believe this is the best approach. But if if we change, so if we change the uh, the C API. Uh, without any uh, any carrot, so nobody moved to this uh, new a API. So we, so I wrote, uh, I wrote the several uh, problems, and I want to uh, I want to solve everything. So this is a summary of problems, and so for uh, annotation, we need we need to we need to use uh, DSL. Instead of C code, and for performance, sometimes Ruby is faster. So I, we want to, we need to write as Ruby for some cases. And productivity is uh, the, some case Ruby C, C implementation is very very difficult. So we need to write uh, Ruby, and the a, we need to change the API to uh, brand new API to achieve the uh, the parallel interpreters. So. DS, yeah, uh, so we know that uh, we know the good DSL supporting language. We, I believe, so the Ruby is very uh, well known DSL, uh, DSL friendly language. So we can we can use uh, uh, D Ruby as DSL of method definition. I think. So this is uh, uh, my uh, proposal on this presentation. So. This is my. Uh, this is an example of uh, my proposal. So, implementing the uh, uh, to implement the built-in class. Some, uh, so, for example, string length, we can write uh, this kind, this type. So, this is a very usual Ruby program. And also, uh, this is maybe nobody knows this line. So, it means that the uh, uh, foreign function interface. So, it means that the it's, this line calls the C function directly. So it is similar to method call, but uh, uh, it is a, a C function call. And the, this, this line calls uh, this type of, uh, uh, this, this function uh, implemented in the interpreter. And uh, the first parameter, as first parameter, we add the context of pointer. So this is the, the uh, so I want to write, rewrite the all of methods in C to this type, this kind of uh, thing, uh, this, this type of definition. Uh, so please note that uh, the this underscore underscore C underscore underscore keyword are not fixed, so it is not mature. And these keywords are enabled only on the special running running mode. So it, it means that uh, it, it is not a proposal to the ordinary Ruby programmers 
but for only for the the uh, the Ruby core committers, Ruby uh, Ruby implementation Ruby implementers. So in so for example, in Rails application code, we cannot write this line. And also, uh, we can add the uh, attribute. So th this string length method is pure. There is no side effect. We know. So the function writer, function developer can uh, understand the, the should understand the the behavior of this uh, function. So the, we can annotate th this function is pure. So we can write like that. I don't think the, it is a good notation, but we can we can choose some similar ideas. So before the uh, before the, this presentation, so the current definition style is uh, writing everything in C and compile it and making the new binary. But the proposal system defines uh, methods in Ruby uh, implementation and declaration and combine with uh, uh, the C implementation and analyze the Ruby source code and we can understand the behavior, some annotation, something like that, and compile, uh, build uh, all, everything and making the Ruby binary. So for, uh, for each uh, pro, uh, problems, we can, uh, so, uh, we can solve these problems. So for example, notation pro annotation problems, so writing Ruby code, and uh, we can analyze it, and we can add the ad additional uh, annotation. And performance, uh, calling C function. So we introduce a new calling function, C function, FFI. So uh, the, there are no uh, strict, uh, no uh, big impact on performance, I believe. And sometimes pure Ruby is enough, and bet it, well, sometimes it's better than C implementation. And productivity, uh, some cases are definitely easy to write in Ruby compared with C implementation. And we can change the, uh, we can change the API with, uh, with uh, uh, context parameter. So my main purpose is number four. So I want to change the, uh, I want to break the, uh, the kind of compatibility, but nobody, uh, nobody catch up these changes only for the, the concurrency. So I make, I make uh, many other uh, performance, uh, performance health, so I, I think people can collaborate with me, I think, I hope. Uh, using this new FFI, we, we can use the uh, Ruby feature. So, so we can use, so in this style, we can, we can mix the Ruby and C. So uh, we can choose uh, you, what, what is best for you. So, so parameter, parameter analysis or something complex features, uh, can, we, we can use the Ruby's feature. And the, uh, you, we can write a C code so we can reuse the existing C, C implementation. So we only need to call the, the C function from the Ruby code. And write faster uh, code in, with C is feasible for, uh, for the MRI. And however, uh, there are some concerns. Uh, so we, we need to care a bit more, for example, about the G, uh, GBL or GIL release timing or garbage collection timing or something like that. So this was a bit different. So the writing the uh, Ruby code in Ruby, sorry, <laughs> writing the MRI implementation in Ruby is my, uh, like, like this, this code is my proposal, but it is, uh, we maybe, if you care about the performance, you maybe you feel the some que two questions. So even if we use the uh, new FFI uh, things, but the runtime overhead can be uh, increased. So FFI can, can be runtime overhead because 
primitive methods like the string lengths can affect this kind of uh, overhead. And the stop the, so if we write the Ruby code, sorry, Ruby code for the Ruby interpreter, and we need to require, we need to load uh, these Ruby code, the start of time can be increased. So it will increase the loading time. So maybe some, so some of you feel that the Ruby start of time is not so fast. So this technique can, this proposal can increase the start of time. So to achieve the, to overcome these uh, questions, so today, so I want to show the, some hacking techniques to achieve the, the faster FFI implementation and the, the for loading time, I improve the compiled binary format to reduce the startup time. So I, sh pre uh, I talked about the background and the, the technical, technical context, con contents will the fall. But uh, I have no enough time to show the, the details, so I, show, I, I, talk only the, I will talk only digest about, uh, about these uh, techniques. Okay, the first one is uh, uh, FFI, foreign function interface implementation by new instructions. So it means that I introduced a new uh, virtual machine, a, a virtual machine instruction in book C funk. In so that uh, this line will be compiled to the this these two instructions. So in book C function call C function directly. So passing the, the, pa passing the function pointer to this line, this instruction, so it, this instruction calls the function pointer and the, uh, pop the frame. So, however, it's a, it has several overhead. The additional overhead for uh, virtual machine stack manipulation to get the parameters and the additional overhead virtual machine frame manipulation. So it means uh, the leave instruction is separated to the, this uh, inbox function. So we need to overcome the, uh, we need to speed up the, this in, in, these instructions because if we, so if we use the FFI and it slow down, so we nobody use uh, new notation. So the policy, so optimization policy is uh, I do everything we can do that. So most of the case, uh, so the first uh, optimization is uh, uh, parameters. So most of the case, the parameter should be same. So in this case, so dummy func to accept the parameter a and b and uh, uh, calling the foreign uh, for calling the C function with A and B, then the uh, the compiled code will be here. So getting uh, access to, from uh, pushing the uh, value of local variable A and B, and call the inbox C function instruction. But the A and B is very uh, is same as uh, a method parameter. So and the, this type of uh, this type of delegation this delegation type code should be uh, so so many many in many cases there so it in many cases it is should be uh, this type of uh, delegation type so we prepare the the new instruction so inbox C function with parameters so. This instruction, so inbox C function parameter is uh, the, uh, using the uh, function point, uh, uh, if code C function with uh, uh, passing uh, parameters. So we don't need to uh, push the uh, A and B anymore with this instruction. And also, uh, so, 
checking the this instruction order. So invoke C function with parameter and leave here. So leave leave immediately. So in, it means that uh, uh, so these two instructions is should be set for the such a, a delegation type. So we can uh, we prepare uh, the new instruction invoke C function with parameter and leave. So so long instruction, but it's it is this instruction do the the uh, the popping the frame. So we eliminate the uh, the deep instruction execution. So I measure the performance. So this is uh, the uh, this this chart is the how faster than the C implementation C function C C method implementation. So baseline is only use the inbox C function. Instruction. So only use the invoke C function. It is slower than the C method. But applying the some optimizations, so we can measure the uh, performance performance improvement. Uh, so surprisingly, so compare with uh, it is faster than the, C, the single C method. Also. Uh, we can measure the optional argument with, with optional argument. It is slower. So this is a problem. And also the key with keyword arguments, so it is very fast. So in this case, it is very faster than the C implementation. And uh, it's also faster than faster on the this exception handling code. So summary is uh, here. So good performance. So we can we can achieve the good performance with new FFI instructions. Uh, but oh, there is uh, some uh, some problem for the optional parameter or something like that. So we can we can enjoy the Ruby's productivity with this technique, I believe. So future work. So we so the optional par parameter is a problem. So I now I'm thinking about the introducing the uh, new overloading feature to achieve the the more performance, more improve, more improving the performance. So, only we. Uh, I only have uh, about five minutes, so I skip the. Uh, so only shows the digest of this uh, compiled binary format. So we only uh, we uh, Ruby two point three has uh, uh, the feature to dump the bytecode to the binary. So using these two methods, we can we can dump the. Uh, instruction sequence bytecode to the binary, and we can load this one, and this binary, and the bootstrap. Maybe some some of you know the bootstrap uh, using this technique, and so we can, we can uh, we can translate. So simply translate the, uh, the this binary to the C C R A code literal. So if we use uh, this, uh, if we compare it with this program, then, then it should be, uh, uh, we, we can bundle the compiled binary with Ruby's binary. But it is, we, we need more uh, optimization to, to, to use more, uh, to enjoy more uh, short starter time. So to, I, I show the, the two techniques, so lazy, lazy loading and multiple supporting binary. Uh, lazy loading technique is invented at uh, two, 2015, and I showed uh, this technique at Ruby Kaigi uh, 2015. But, and, uh, it, and current MRR has the code to do that, but it is not enabled yet. The lazy loading is a, a very simple technique. So, uh, if making the instruction sequence, the bytecode object, if it is really needed. So, for example, so if we define the many many classes and methods, but uh, only a few methods are used. So, on, use method only we need to achieve. We need to uh, allocate the instruction sequence uh, only for the really. Executed code. 
So we we pending the such a uh, object allocation to if we need to use it. So if, uh, so the multiple support file support binary is uh, the very simple. So on the current one current. Uh, uh, compiled binary only supports the one file, but I suppose the multiple Ruby files to the one compiled binary. So we can we can share the resources between the files. So it will be we we can we can we can shrink the, the size of compiled binary. So to measure the performance, to measure the uh, startup startup time, so I create the three thousand classes and each class has a one to twenty methods, so in yeah, so auto generated. I make a auto generator to to do that. So the Ruby file will be a sixty six hundred kilobytes, and compiled binary becomes at 50, 60, 16 megabytes, and the translated C code is eighteen megabytes, and also we uh, do the uh, separate. By the per class, and the corresponding C code is uh, four, uh, four megabytes. So it it means that uh, not uh, using the Ruby, but uh, using the uh, traditional RB define method to to do that. So using the uh, C definition system, so it means it needs uh, uh, twenty six milliseconds, and uh, if we require the one file. 160, uh, 61 millisecond is needed to load the, the, uh, load the uh, 3,000 classes at the startup time. But uh, using the uh, bi compiled binary, we can uh, we we only need uh, 18 or uh, 19 uh, millisecond. So it is a half of, half of uh, the text processing, but uh, it is uh, three times slower than the uh, slower than the uh, C implementation. But uh, using the lazy technique, it needs uh, uh, 50, about 15 milliseconds. It is slower than the C implementation, but it is. Uh, I think it is some feasible. Uh, to do use it, I think. So, future, so just now it is not faster than the C implementation. So we have several technique. Uh, we have several techniques to improve the this stop up time using this one. So today I show the why the current C implementation is problematic, and the I show I shows uh, uh, how to solve these techniques. And the, I introduced uh, several uh, performance improving techniques. OK, so thank you so much uh, to listen to my talk. Thank you so much. <laughs>